welcome to WWE Girls Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're reviewing Backlash 2016. Yay! Woo! Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Please get a pipe up with some thingy. Yeah. Like that. It's like, woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. I've got anything on my back? I've got like, I think we'll call it umbrellas and cocktails. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, when we review pay per views, um, we do predictions for them, so. Uh, we bet on who we think is going to win, and then if we think if we were right and they win, the loser then has to do a forfeit. Was that a sentence? Loser has to do a forfeit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, the loser on this one has to do a tip. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk now. <laughs> You're always fine in this. Um, <laughs> has to do a review on the failings of TNA. No, like on TNA. Yeah. But TNA is failing. So we're going to investigate as to why it <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, the loser has to do that. That'll be a separate video. We'll just review it. And everyone will be like, why are you reviewing TNA now? We're like, well, because we had to. Yeah. <laughs> it was a forfeit. Yeah. Not our own pleasure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Backlash. The first Smackdown pay-per-view of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, we started off with a Divas match, which is quite surprising. <laughs> it was the six-pack women's challenge. I feel like they touted it the six pack women's challenge to make it sound like it's a match that the men do as well because obviously they do the six pack challenges. Yeah, and there's six of them. Yeah, but I feel like it usually they would have just called it like a women's. Yeah, something women's match, mm-hmm. but. Oh yeah, yeah. So the new women's SmackDown women's championship. So the first women's cha- SmackDown. Ugh, I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> the first SmackDown women's champion, which is true because SmackDown's never had a champion for women. So. True. Even when the brand split last time, they didn't. No, like, exactly. the women got nothing. No, they're like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, you went to SmackDown, you're unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck after the next round. <laughs> That's when they're like, I've been SmackDown three times! <laughs> Apparently, though, SmackDown are winning the ratings. In the rate are they? Rate. They weren't. Are well, they JBL said they were. Ah, they weren't when it first came out. No, apparently it's been it taken over. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I'm not, I'm enjoying Raw more. Oh, I don't know, really I'm weird. Tired. Okay, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch versus Carmella versus Nikki versus Natalia versus Nyla. <laughs> <laughs> How many of um, We had to flip a coin because we both fought Nikki. Um, so Coral got Nikki and I got Becky Lynch. <laughs> it worked in your favour. It did actually. I was like, oh yay, it's Becky Lynch won. Becky didn't really do much. Becky hasn't done fuck all since she won. No, she, she's got a medical condition. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'd say give it up. Give up. It's like a curse. Yeah. The new belt. Well, the thing is, everything lent towards like it was going to be Nikki. She's come back. Yeah. Um, instead, she ended up with a really weird feud with her and Carmen. Although, I'm, I'm quite in- enjoying that. It's quite a good, strong feud. Mm, for right. a Smackdown. Yeah. Dealers. I mean, that's the only feud that's going on. When you think about it, like you had Becky, who's never been a champion before. Yeah. Like, she's good, but she can't really hold her own, in a sense of, she usually needs someone to back her up. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's she's good, but she's not amazing. Naomi, who I love, but she's like, the crowd just don't react to her, and she's got a stupid opening. Nikki Bella, okay, she's like the... Diva. Yeah, she is the diva of Total Divas, and now she's in Total Bella. Yeah. But, um, she's also kind of like the veteran now. Yeah, she is. As well as Natalia. So you got them two, and then you got... Carmella and Alexa Bliss, they're still really new. And it was a surprise that they got put up in the first place anyway, so... Yeah. They were literally there for numbers, I think, so they're, they're working. The match was fucking good, though. I was quite surprised. Yeah, it was decent. I think Carmella did a lot of it. She was quite decent in this match, though. Yeah, I mean, Carmella's not bad. She's she's not got the, as strong a skill set as the others, no. but she's still good. And, I mean, if you go back to... Some of the other other divas, you're kind of like, okay, she's a lot better than them. Yeah. So. Things about Carmella, she makes up for her lack of wrestling. Not that she doesn't can't wrestle, she's not as good, as strong. Yeah. But her personality, yeah, she's is got a really good, good. Ring presence as well. Like her, her, I've never seen her heel before, and but she does it well. I think she does it better than being faced, quite honest. Yeah, yeah. She's she's quite she's, aggressive, isn't she? Yeah. She's quite good. She does, especially when she does stuff by the turnbuckle, she runs in, right? Yeah. So she, I think it was in this match, actually, Nikki Bella, I thought she was going to snap her neck again. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, she just goes for it, she doesn't <laughs> give a shit, she's like, fuck you. Yeah. Um, Naomi did quite a lot, actually, in the match. I think yeah, I, I enjoyed liked. it. Yeah. <laughs> and it was quite unfortunate that Becky won, because I felt like Becky just spent a lot of time on the outside, yeah. lying around. 
Yeah. And that is basically yeah. how she won. She was lying yeah. around on the floor. and like John Tickle wins. Pinned just <laughs> Run in and pinned. Yeah. Uh, who was it? Alexa Bl- was it Alexa? No. It was Carmella, wasn't it? She pinned. Yeah, but I think that's because Nikki Bella kicked her in the face. Yeah. She did something. And she did a new finisher. Because she can't do the... Rack attack. Anymore. Yeah. So it's kind of like the rack attack and she swings around. I think it's a better finisher. Yeah. I think so. Um, but yeah, Becky Lynch won. Yeah, hasn't done anything with it since. No, but it was a good match. Yeah, but Alexa Bliss is trying it. Yeah, Alexa Bliss, I'm not keen on anymore because she's trying to be the Harley Quinn. I think that's just yeah, gross. they keep calling her the Harley Quinn. Uh, Take the hair out of the bunches. Uh, it just doesn't work for her at all. Yeah, I mean she's she's still got a good she's good on the mic. They made her bratty though. Yeah, they have made her bratty. I hate mic, that, but she's good on the mic. I think. Yeah, but I think that's. Because of the way she dresses and because she's so little as well. Yeah, I hate that shit. Mm. Uh, she was never bratty on NXT. No, she actually she was, was like <laughs> a strong woman who led a yeah. tag team and was better than them. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how, how this has happened. She doesn't do that thing much anymore, does she? No. She got rid of that. Yeah, but that was good. Yeah, the little the skull. skull. Especially because she was so girly and all of a sudden she had to sign it. Skull thing. Exactly. Oh, I don't know what they've done to her. Ruined her. You know, since she put her hair in bunches, it's not there. Yeah. Oh. It's annoying. She has bows in her hair. Too. She's going to have a baseball bat next. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> um, we then had the US States versus the Hype Bros, and this was for the number one contender spot because um, American Alpha obviously won, but then they got injured by the US and they couldn't do it, so they had to have a rematch. Mm. Um, so I went for the US. Who did I go for? Hype Bros. Oh, because I love the Hype Bros. Was that the only reason? I think so. Yeah. Uh, the Usos won. I mean, I thought the Usos would win because once the Usos, and two, mm. they beat Hype Bros before on SmackDown. Yeah. It'd be weird if it changed. I'm I'm disappointed in the lack of Hype Bros on SmackDown. They get more though. Yeah. They get they get into it more. They've been on. Yeah, like, they was on. They had a little backroom promo thing. Yeah, yeah, and a match before on the week before. Yeah. So they start to get. I think they're in a future ascension, aren't they? See how that goes. Very different characters. Yeah. Very, like they're opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. So I'm not sure how it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love Mojo Rowley though. Yeah. Like his personality is brilliant. <laughs> I just like the hype bros together. I think they're quite cute. Like they're, they're like college frats. <laughs> that is literally what they are. Like, <laughs> even though they're like middle aged men. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, you says one of those prize there. Um. Yeah. It's quite a forgettable match, though, yeah. I barely remember it. I was about to say, there's nothing to really say about it. No. You just won. It was a long time ago. Long time. <laughs> um, then had the Miss Burst Dolph. I mean, the match was okay. Like, yeah, it was like, no, no, mercy, was it? <laughs> no, definitely not. Like, you think, like, to no mercy. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's the Incredible Championship. Uh, I thought, well, Dolph's bound to win because, yeah. you know, he lost Mr. the championship thing. Miss said it ages, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> He did not <laughs> win. This is the fuel for the fire. Uh, Miz obviously won, so Coral won that point. Yay! Um, but yeah, I think you're right. It was the beginning of the fuel. Yeah. The, the thing is, the problem with Backlash, they literally had three weeks to do a whole Yeah, it game. didn't work. Like, literally, there was a brand split and they had to establish everything. And so it was just kind of like, there was nothing. It was like, nothing it, this paper is a bit like a, a longer Smackdown. Yeah, it That's was. That's basically it was. But No Mercy was really good, comparing. Oh, yeah. But it had a be- better build-up to it. Yeah. I think that's why Backlash, everyone was a bit like, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how yeah. this I was a bit like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this match, um, Dolph lost because Maurice sprayed the shit in his eye. Yeah. Do you know that guy who used to, that Japanese guy who used to wrestle? I think his name was Chijiri, and he used to have the green smoke in his mouth. He used to spray people's faces, and that's how he beat them. I feel like I've seen something like that. Yeah. I can't remember it. Like, oh my god, he's him with the green mist. I remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that reminded me of. <laughs> do that, coming out the mouth. Um, anyway, <laughs> Randy Orton couldn't face Bray Wyatt at Backlash because he still had concussion. So we then had a round of match. <laughs> we had Bray West Kane in a No House Bar match. At this point, I thought, wow, I'm watching a house show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is literally what it felt like. <laughs> Do you like I barely remember this match, you know? Do you know, it wasn't all that. No. But I was surprised Kane won. Yeah, because Kane does fuck all. Yeah. Like, ever. He's cursed down to that. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I still think he should be GM. Oh, I think so too. Mm. 
Better than James Brown. Yeah. You can't get names right half the yeah. time. Better than Mick Foley. Yeah, you know what Mick Foley is and all that, is he? No. He sounds like he's reading the script all the time. And I just feel like he's, like, they've, they've put him there because he is a bit of a legend. Yeah. Like, I don't... He's too clumsy. But that's what I mean. Like, that's what annoys me. He was slating WWE about all the storylines and shit yeah. like this for, like, weeks. All of a sudden, he's GM and he's awful. Like, he... I feel like he won a competition. <laughs> And then he's got these really awkward suits, and I just yeah. Oh, his introduction to the cruiserweights. Did you watch that? It was so it. awful. He fucks up his lines. It was like oh yeah. It was awful. I was like, how is this yeah. making me prepare for a cruiserweights? Like uh-huh. it did not. It actually made it worse. Yeah, I think that's why because the whole relationship between Shane and Daniel that worked. Yeah, they yeah. Sat down, they're like, oh yeah, we're a team. Obviously, Raw's played it the opposite way and gone there almost against each other. Yeah. But bring Triple H back, I say. Yeah. Because Triple H is nowhere at the moment anyway, so I'd say eventually, I think Mick Foley's standing in for it, because Holy Foley's on at the moment. Yeah. Still coming up. Mm. I don't know, he's fluffing it up, he's not. Yeah, he's not very good. Yeah, you're no. right. That, like, Shane Man and Daniel Bryan are very strong when they yeah. do stuff. Like, they come out and Daniel Bryan gets the yeses going, and Shane's like, yeah, money, money, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like. They got this kind of work. They yeah, they work together. Yeah, well. and then McFarlane and Steph just don't. Yeah. But I think that's Steph though. She likes to control everything. Yeah, I mean it works as a storyline for them too, like together. But it yeah. doesn't work when McFarlane goes out on his own. Yeah, and he can't. It's like where Steph now. It's awkward. Yeah, yeah. You're like I want Steph. So I think I don't know whether that is the plan for Triple H to come back or whether he's going to come back wrestling. You know, like. Ooh. Also, how's Royal Rumble working this year? They all just get in. And then, so if you win, it's it that goes brand. to your brand. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Um, <laughs> we've gone off topic. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where are we talking about? <laughs> can you be GM? Can, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Can be Smackdown GM, but still. <laughs> yeah. Um, I suppose he works with Steph better than Yeah. He was just always on Smackdown. <laughs> um, we did have the Usos versus Heath and Rhino for the... Tag Team Championships and he's like and Rhino won! Yay! I suppose it didn't really matter who went on the one, number one contender really did it because it was always going to be he so yeah, everyone, no. everyone knew it was going to um, <coughs> yeah we both had to flip a coin because yeah. both were Heath obviously but I won yeah. Yeah. I mean it was so obvious just from the storyline the impact you couldn't run that Heath Slater thing any longer about getting a contract yeah. you had to end it yeah and like just the crowd reaction I think it just would have been amazing. silly if they didn't give it to him so. the crowd loved it yeah that had you deserve it Charles yeah <laughs> but that's what they've always said about Smackdown it is the, for the underdogs as well yeah. so it's, it's nice to see Heath Slater actually getting what he deserves because people like him have sat in the back for years but they're good. Yeah. Like, you just got to give them a chance. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think it's Fandango is a good wrestler. Yeah. They just don't, they give him five minute matches so you can't even get into it. And exactly. he gets thrown around. Like people are good and they just don't give him the time of day. So no. it's nice to see. He's safe. Yeah, though. actually give him the time of day. I mean, if it weren't Rhino though, probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like our Rhino's got to do. <laughs> yeah. Chuck them two together. Yeah. But I like it. I like it. Yeah. I think they're getting social outcasts back together just. Bowen, uh, oh, yeah, that's the one. So they said that on the last roar, didn't they? They had a bit of a tiff, but they're not having a yeah. tiff. Oh, that's a bit weird. And then they kind of was like, yeah, so sure. It don't work without Heath Slater. Yeah. Because Heath Slater was the one who was like, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like Curtis Axel by Dan, so just on their own. Yeah. They don't give him the time of day. Curtis yeah. Axel's good as well. He is good. He's very We've good. We've seen him live, I and mean, it was really yeah, good. Yeah, they just don't give him the time of day. Anyway, made event time. Yeah. AJ Styles vs Dean Ambrose for the World W World Championship. I actually went for Dean on this one. Oh yay! <laughs> Why um, did I go for AJ Styles? Because I like AJ Styles. I think you just thought, fuck it. Yeah. And yeah, you won. AJ won. Yay. With a low blow. Which fit well with the storyline because obviously a couple weeks ago, Dean did it to AJ. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, continuity. Yay! That is one thing Smackdown do very well. Man. Yeah. Yeah. The writing is so much better on SmackDown. <laughs> Do you think they've got different writers now for each? Yeah, I think that's what yeah. they've done. But it makes much more sense. Yeah. Which would prove our theory, right, that there was different writers for Raw and SmackDown, which is why there was no continuity. Yeah. They were just like, I have no idea what happened in Raw. Yeah. So <laughs> we're just, just going to make it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the match was right. I, I wouldn't say it was amazing. No. Like, yeah. But Backlash was just 
mediocre. Yeah. It was just a smack down. I was generally thinking of that word. What, mediocre? Yeah. Oh, see, <laughs> just don't even think. Yeah, it was alright. Yeah. Weren't the best paper. It weren't the best, but it weren't the worst. It no. was just alright. Yeah, it was like, okay, I can sit and watch it, but I'm not going to watch it again. Yeah, exactly. No. What's your rating? Come on with me. Four? Yeah, we'll go for a four. Yeah. That's quite high for us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like two, three. Yeah, we went a two. We'll go for a four. It was average. Yeah. It was, it was a long smackdown. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But half hour. Yeah. <laughs> I well, texted you. Really yeah, I texted you. Yeah, I think. Going, oh my god, it's only two and a half hours. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds like something we texted you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Retweet, tumble. Follow us, like us, comment below. Goodbye.